good afternoon, artists. Fall is in the air, and that means leaves and wind and breezes. And so I thought it would be fun for us to do a project related to fall and falling leaves and wind. And I have all these pictures, or not pictures, samples of different kinds of leaves. But I'm sure if you guys go out into your yard, you'll find all different kinds of leaves. But what I want you to notice is how these leaves all come in different shapes and sizes. All different kinds of shapes. It's pretty easy to make leaves. They're basic shapes. So we're gonna get started by doing some practice drawing of leaves. For my younger students, this is pretty helpful. We can make simple leaf shapes using triangles or ovals and circles. For more advanced students, you older kiddos, you could make your leaves a little bit more intricate, even adding the veins. So let's get started. I really love this book. What color is the wind? I like to read it to my kindergartners and we talk about the wind and what color it is. And then we relate it to this picture because the wind for us has no color. It's white. So we use the white crayon to create some wax resist the color of the wind that we see. But for other people who are blind, like the boy in the story, the wind could be different colors. It could be blue and purple. So we could put some of those wind colors in our picture too. But we're gonna start just by practicing drawing some leaves. If you have never drawn leaves before, it's okay, they're pretty easy to draw because they're basic shapes. This one is like a teardrop. I had one student describe this one like a banana. It's kind of long and skinny. So we're just going to practice drawing those leaves. Long skinny leaf with the stem. I like to do leaves using triangles. So you can make a triangle, another triangle, another triangle, and then kind of the letter U coming down. So just spend some time practicing drawing leaves. If you have a tree in your yard, you can collect some of those leaves and draw them. Another super fun thing to do is leaf rubbings. I love doing leaf rubbings. Just get yourself a blank piece of paper and a crayon that has no wrapper on it. Put your leaf down on the table. Put your paper on top. You're gonna use the edge of the crayon like this, hold your paper and your leaves, and then rub with that crayon. And you're gonna get this beautiful print of leaves. This is a fun way to do printmaking without really doing printmaking. Look at these beautiful leaves. You can use different colors too. You can change the colors of your crayon. It's also fun to do this and then if you have watercolor paints at home, you can do a watercolor wash over it and then add some spots of color just for fun. So that's another project you could do with leaves, doing a leaf rubbing to make different textures. What I thought you also could do is then take your paper once you've practiced doing your leaves and you're just going to draw those leaves nice and big, filling your paper. Outline them with a dark crayon, black, purple. Have some of your leaves go off the page. That makes it more interesting. Have some of your leaves overlap one another. That makes it more interesting too. Also, have your leaves going in different directions. Don't make them all standing up in a row. Have them going different ways and all over the paper. So once you get your paper filled with your leaves, then again, you're going to take some unwrapped crayons and put some texture inside your leaves. Just use that edge of your crayon and push to put some texture, some color in your leaves. I'm gonna do all my leaves fall colors. So once I get that all filled in, then I'm going to put some lines in the background. 
that will look like wind, wind line. Now, if it's windy, I don't think my line should go straight. That doesn't look like a wind line, but maybe a curving line with a swirl. That looks more like wind. So put some lines in your drawing that represent wind. I'm just going to do a few with color, and then I think I'll use my white crayon for the rest. So then when I paint it with watercolor paint, those white lines will show. But they don't show right now. Whee! Lots of wind. It's very windy in my picture. All right. Now I can get my watercolor paint sets like this. Fill them up with water. Remember how we learned last year, artists? Dump your paintbrush in the water. Squeeze the water into the paint to activate it. Then brush that paint brush lightly across your paint and you can paint that in. If you don't have paints at home, that's not a problem. I love using markers. So you can take some water-based markers, not Sharpies, they won't work, and you can color your background. And what I love about it is even if I drew with a crayon, look at how it still shows lighter. So see how the crayon line shows? So you're still going to get a similar effect as if it was with watercolor paint. But now what you're going to do is take a paintbrush and some clean water and you can paint with that marker. So see how the paint starts to bleed away? I mean, it's not paint. The color of the marker, it acts like paint and it pulls away to create color. It bleeds. So that's kind of fun to do. If you don't have paint at home, you can use markers. All right, I hope you have fun making your leaf prints, leaf texture drawings with the wind blowing. Have a great week, artists.